So yesterday we received our new uh, refrigerator where our RV is and we had a, a hell of a time getting the old one out and putting the new one in. I mean once we figured out how to get the old one out we knew how to put the old one in pretty much but everything went smooth so today we're going to go back and uh, we're going to hook up all the wires and uh, get everything hooked up and, and fully installed and then we're going to have to run and go get some propane and then we're going to start running our refrigerator and see how well it works. We're pretty excited. Um, we pretty much, you can see, I'm in the apartment right now. We pretty much have nothing here. I mean, compared to what we had, this is all we have. All the other rooms are pretty much empty. Um, my llama. So, this is uh, where I used to have my uh, my podcast studio. It's pretty much all empty. This is just some remaining stuff that we're trying to sell. And where we used to have our bedroom, it's just our clothes that we're currently using, but it's empty. Um, our kitchen is pretty much empty. All this stuff is just stuff we use, but none of the cupboards are full or anything like that. So we're less than two weeks away from moving into our RV and we're actually really nervous because you know we don't know what to expect. It's a new experience, but we're ultimately we're super excited about this and um, I 100% believe this is, this is the move. This is the way to go. Um, I've seen so many people make this move and, and it truly inspired me to, to make this move and, and over the last, um, five months or so it's just been kind of growing on me and I'm, I'm in between I'm really nervous but I'm also really anxious to to start it and get into it because I know once we do we're gonna figure it out as we go so uh, right now we're gonna head to uh, the RV and finish uh, finish uh, you know loading some stuff in organizing and and first of all get that that refrigerator running so see you there we finally made it back to the RV, about a 45 minute drive or so, and now we're going to, uh, I don't know Val, you want to move stuff in and then do this, or do you want to do this first? Doesn't matter. I guess we'll do the refrigerator first. Um, we're going to get all the wiring hooked up and, and get it all hooked up and everything, and then uh, we're going to move the rest of our stuff in and start organizing it, and then we're going to, if we have enough time, we're going to head to the propane place and get some uh fill up our propane tank so we can turn the refrigerator on and, and uh, get it going. Get it nice and cold and get it working. And then, what do you say, like a week and a half from now we move in? A week. A week? Next month, uh, the Monday after. So the Monday after next Monday we move into the RV full time and uh, the journey begins. So after going um, going through uh, the, you know, finishing the install with the, with the refrigerator, um, this RV doesn't have your typical wires for positive and negative, so just to be on the safe side, which I'd totally recommend because it's, you know, it's like a $1,200 refrigerator, I totally recommend, um, you know, double checking. And so we're going to go to the store right now and get a, um, uh, a, a voltmeter, and we're going to plug these wires in because I have a red and a white. Usually it's black and white, um, so I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure the red is the, is the positive. Um, and the white is a negative because that's what I've been that's kind of what I've been reading on but like I said I'd hate to uh, make the wrong choice and fry the the uh, refrigerator so we're gonna go to the store right now and get that and and make sure everything goes smooth and uh, yeah be safe all right so we're back from the store and uh, there was actually quite quite a lot of um, testers to choose from but I wanted to spend the least money and get the best results that's how I work. So we picked up this little thing. It was, how much was it? Ten bucks. It's ten dollars, and you just plug um, this end into the ground of the refrigerator. So what I did, I hope this is the right way to do it. Um, what I did is I plugged the refrigerator in to give it, you know, current, so we can have a proper ground because it is grounded. Um, plug, uh, put this onto this little, uh, this metal uh, plate right here, and then I. Just touch this to uh, the brown wire. It's actually brown, not red. I'm colorblind. Awesome. Um, so I touched it to the brown wire and immediately it lit up. And just to make sure this thing wasn't faulty, I did touch it to the white wire and nothing happened. So needless to say, always double check. You never want to guess on this because it can cost you a lot of money. Um, to be honest, I'm a very stubborn person and sometimes I just want to wing it. but. In this case, uh, you definitely want to be safe about it and uh, go about it the right way. So, yeah, now we're just going to finish. Um, I'm going to finish plugging in the uh, the propane and getting that all tightened on there, and 
get all this covered up. We actually ordered a new uh, vent cover right here, um, which should be coming in soon. So that's kind of just open right now because the other one broke. So once that comes in, that's going to be all, all fixed up. Then I'm going to hop in here with Val and continue organizing and hopefully have enough time to go get some propane so we can actually uh, run this thing. But but needless to say, uh, it's all it's all in. It's installed. Now we just have to... Um, now we just have to put the doors back on and we're good to go. So we're gonna call it a call it a night today. We've kind of been here for a few hours and and uh, we've pretty much done everything that we could. Um, it's kind of hard to really hard to show angles and stuff in here, but basically here's our here's our counter. We got all that stuff back there, kind of tucked away. Um, this is kind of um, this is kind of stuff we gotta figure out where to secure and whatnot. But we're really getting crafty with that. Mostly Val is. Here's all our teas and spices and stuff. Um, here's our living room. Pretty pretty cleaned up right now. We gotta figure out where to put this stuff and then where to put this stuff. And then up here, our above head our you know, above our head storage is gonna be um, way less because one, it's a safety hazard. You don't wanna be driving with all that stuff up there because anything can happen. Um, as you guys I don't know if you remember, but when I was when we were taking the RV to go get repaired, I had um, some tools almost fall and hit my head. Luckily, I missed out on that, which is good. But we want to make sure everything's safe and everything's secure for when we're traveling because we don't want any mishaps or anything falling and breaking or, or us getting hit on the head. So that's all we have left to do, which we're going to hit next weekend and then uh, while we're moving in. And then we officially head out of South Florida on Two weeks from now. August 23rd. August 23rd, we're, we're moving out of Florida and we're heading to Georgia. Then we're going to head to Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, and then we're finally going to stop in New York and stay there for a couple months, hang out with the family, and uh, figure out our next trip. Don't forget to check out our official website, wearethewills.com. It's, um, it's a blog that I started up. We're going to kind of document everything on there, and there's going to be some really cool stuff in there, um, including... Our favorite recipes to cook in general but mostly on the road kind of we're gonna adapt our favorite recipes to to cook into an RV lifestyle and we're gonna put those up there for you guys along with pictures from our trips and whatnot so stay tuned um, the site should be going live sometime this week again it's we are the don't be afraid to follow us on Instagram at uh, we are the wills and spread the word we're coming to your town any words of wisdom What's wisdom? <laughs> Shut up. I don't remember. You don't remember? No. It's like encouragement. <laughs> follow your dreams. Bitches. Come on, follow <laughs> your dreams. Jeez, my grandpa said that. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>